All right, so um, you've heard from Noel, you've heard just from some of our researchers about, about some of the work that we've done. I'm not going to talk too much about that. Anyway, I'm going to talk through the economic report that we're um, launching today. It's available on our website. Um, and I'll talk through some of the other types of things that we're able to do with an insight. So there we go. So this is a small number of the, the kind of numbers that you can see. So this is uh, an, an independent economic report that we commissioned, uh, which took our own numbers and our own outputs and compared them to, C to CSO norms. Um, and what you can see is over the 10 years, we have uh, taken in more than 200 million uh, in direct investment through exchequer, non-exchequer, and also industry funding. Um, and when you look at this, what that gives us is a uh, the investment or the multiplier effect, if you like, is 5.54, uh, uh, which equates to every euro that comes into Insight uh, brings in uh, one, uh, 554 into the Irish economy, which gives us this 1.1 billion euro uh, impact to the Irish economy uh, over the past 10 years. So we're, we're looking forward to seeing how that grows over the next five to 10 years. Um, in addition to that, you know, we, people ask, well, where is the research? Where, where is it going? What, what can I see about your research? So in that time frame, we've spun out 14 companies that use our research. And they're actually hiring or they're, they have employment of 170 workers in the Irish workforce. Um, and they have brought in an additional investment of over 400 million euros to the Irish economy. So as you can see, what, what we've been doing over the past 10 years is, is impacting on a social and also an economic benefit to Ireland. And again, we look forward to seeing how, how we can continue to contribute positively to, to Ireland and the Irish economy. But at the, you know, what we've heard from today is we, we do great research, but it's really all about the people. And it's not just the researchers, but it's also the, the backroom people. So it's the operations team, uh, of which I'm, I'm part of, um, and also the research administration teams in our universities and the institutions that we're part of. And they are the ones that help really remove the barriers. They overcome the legal, the uh, economic challenges that we have. So we can continue to do first of its kind research and we continue to move the barriers of what's possible. Um, some examples of things that we've done over the past number of years include in 2017, Insight Connect and Lero came together to create the first multi-centre spoke uh, through the SFI spokes programme. Uh, Enable was a project that brought together the Irish community of researchers working on Internet of Things and smart cities to share ideas, experience and drive collaboration at a national level. Um, this type of spoke had never been done before, there was no template, um, but by, by bringing together the right people who had the commitment, the openness and the creativity, we were able to get it done. Um, today then, Insight, we move forward with these things. As, as you know, we're a data analytics centre, data is important to us, but something that hasn't been done before um, is getting data sets from one company and being able to move them across institutions so that more and more researchers can get involved in, in figuring out impactful ways to use that data and to bring it into their research. So we're proud to, to kind of talk about the fact that we've now uh, put together a, a contract with DPD where we are able to move data sets across six institutions. Uh, we have 13 research academics and their teams involved now in a large project that will be worth over a million euros um, across the timeline of the project in terms of, of the data set worth to us. Um, the projects that vary from te stress testing sensors for air quality monitoring to identifying air quality trends in urban environments. And there are, we anticipate many more applications coming out of those projects over the, over the next number of years. And much of the success really for Insight and continuing to have long and lasting relationships with all of our collaborators is because over the years we've continued to build capacity in new areas while, try, while staying true to our commitment to advance the fundamentals of data science. It is this ability to be flexible and evolve beyond what is expected of a traditional data analytics centre and continue to push the boundaries of the AI revolution that has given us some of our most diverse and unexpected projects and brought us new collaborators in, 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 in areas such as nutrition, the arts and the social sciences. Our multidisciplinarity also facilitates a new and compelling approach to education and public engagement. Some of you may have seen some of the work out on the, um, out on the uh, televisions earlier today, um, but, but some of the work that we've been involved in include the Miasma Play, um, which was an interdisciplinary project that used drama and debate to provide historical and contemporary perspective on the scientific conflict surrounding cholera in the 1850s and the parallels that we had with the COVID-19 pandemic. 
Over the past four years, Insight has engaged three artists in residence to work with our researchers to develop standalone art installations, immersive video projects, and other artworks related to topics as diverse as ex exploration of the neurological impacts of self-drive vehicles to the relationship between humans and the natural environment and how we can reduce our negative impact on it. It is this diversity that also attracts researchers to us. Insight has always been a supporter of career progression and identifying new opportunities for our research community. And we have contributed 238 new PhDs and 216 postdoctoral researchers into the research ecosystem. Our academics are also strongly involved in four of the six uh, SFI centers for research training programs, which will graduate 700 PhD students by 2026. We also collaborate with the Future Neuro Centre on a Marie Curie co-fund called NeuroInsight, which will bring 33 postdoctoral researchers who we will develop and train as the next generation of AI-enabled neuroscientists. These are some of the things that we could never envision at the first or the second iteration of our research programme over the, the last 10 years, but we were happy to support and inform as the needs of the country and of our areas of research changed. The ability to step up at times when we are needed to support a national priority and apply our expertise is something that Insight does time and again. Some of our national bodies currently have difficulty in keeping pace with the AI revolution, and we are happy to have strategic partnerships with various national bodies, which include the GAA, the Marine Institute, and the HSE. And we have been able to work partner with them on their digitalization journey by embedding some of our researchers with these organizations. This allows our researchers to learn how to apply their academic knowledge in real-world contexts. We get to share with the teams on the ground what the current state of the art looks like, and we're able to work with them and give them the best, best workarounds for them given their specific contexts and also their specific limitations. Working with new initiatives and organisations and sharing what we know gives Insight a unique perspective into the types of challenges that exist in data science and AI and need further exploration. Over the past number of years, Insight has used some of our own core funding to back ourselves and our research, answer our own research questions, and invest to integrate the wider Irish community. And shortly, Yvonne Smith will um, talk to you about some of the projects that we've recently funded. Uh, but you've heard enough from me. Uh, so let's hear from some of our national and international collaborators. And in their own words, you'll hear how working with Insight has helped them to progress their own strategy and help solve their own challenges. Thank you. <laughs> 